everyone, RT Timberamba, also known as Tammy Porter, here again. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today is my first play with the new release by Art by Marlene, which is amazing. But first I'll take you through what I used. I used the Perfect Size Journal, the smooth one. I also used the quotes um, from the new release and the new smooth paper. Plus I used the gorgeous owl stamp that is new. And then I teamed it with a few older um, pieces. So that was called my girls and then there is the you've got mail and there's also bloom and good that are from older ranges and i've used the dotty um stencil i use the watercolors i use that um craft tape but not in the way you think and then i've used the sticky glue and the gold glitter and the gold plated paint as well and then a whole heap of other paints so there was lace um violet uh, maybe fuchsia and then ballet and kissy and mermaid and funky which is the hot pink and then i've used olive and forest and envy and smurf and cheesy and tabasco and mud something mud fight mud something <laughs> Um, okay, so let's just get straight into it. So I am using, as I said, the smooth page from the um, Perfect Journal and I just use the crafty tape to paint a little circle, sorry, trace a little circle because I knew I wanted to create sort of a nighttime sky with the moon in the distance. Um, so I started by putting cheesy in the middle and then I put a, a layer of... Um, uh, ballet and then I've also put some funk not funky yeah funky which is the hot pink around there as well um, and a little bit of kissy and so just kind of graduated it out and I just blended it with my finger and then I'm coming in with the ballet paint um, and I'm using one of the Art by Marlene sponges just to whack it down onto the um page so i've put the pink around the moon because that's a bit of the lighter color i'm going for quite deep colors today and i sort of spread it across the page in hindsight i wish i'd actually put a bit more pink um because the page does get quite dark so yeah so tip if you if you're playing along um yeah so then i used azure which is the dark deep aqua color and then some smurf which is that blue and and then around the edges i used violet which is a deep purple and um i kind of just blended with my sponge and you know wasn't too fast i knew i'd come in with some stenciling and bits and pieces um so i wasn't too worried about what it looked like at this stage but i kind of at this point to be honest felt like oh this is a disaster i want to start again um and I guess I just thought, you know what, often it is just pushing and layering and keeping on going. So before I gave up, I thought I'd um, go a little bit further. So I used the Dotty Dream stencil. I think before I used the stencil, I actually used the Funky, which is the neon purple, over the top. And you might have seen me sponge it in where the joins are, just kind of made those joins not look so obvious um so i did that first and then i went in with the um dotty dreams i think it's called yep stencil and just added some dots using all the same colors and sort of keeping them i was trying to blend out those joins so that it didn't look quite so i guess circular and obvious um so i decided after i'd done that for a little while that it wasn't working um i you know it was to a point but i needed something a bit more oomphy so i just used my brushes here and i really love the flat brushes of marlene's for this um work and i usually use the smaller one and i just add strokes um so from the per deep purple coming inwards and then from the pink going outwards and a few of the blues in between as well it's hard not to get carried away at this point um, and I think I probably did a little bit I could have pulled back at some point but you'll see um, it come together and it's almost a bit like a um, 
oh, like an impressionism painting with all those dots. So you could, probably could keep going and going and going and it would still look good. Um, but there is a point where one must stop. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think I'm just still doing that now. I'm coming out with the pink and I'm adding a bit of kissy as well just to bring in some of that colour that's around the edge of the moon um, there. And then I do put, I feel like the the um, corners are a little bit too dark, so I do add a little bit of um, pink on top of there as well and just blend it out with my finger. All right. So while I'm, I'm still just fiddling around here and adding a bit more um, pieces, so let's talk about the new release. Isn't it amazing? When I get a new release, it's very exciting. But because we are so lucky, we get everything. It is a little bit overwhelming, like where do I start and what should I use first? And, um, and I guess my brain tries to think, how can I use the most of all the new stuff? Um, and I think that was kind of paralyzing me a little bit. So what I've done with this one is I really love those owl stamps and I had this idea um, just sprung off from a page I did years and years ago and I thought stop overthinking it mix it with the old as well and I guess that's part of the process isn't it I've used quite a bit of new stuff but I've used quite a lot of old stuff as well and that um, is the beauty of Art by Maylene they all mix together and they look amazing so yeah so I've started to add a branch in for the little owls to sit upon. So um, this, this is from the new owl stamp, the branch stamp. Um, and I stamped that down first and then I continued the branch. And I just painted it with um, by hand and used like mud and tobacco, I think, to do that. And then... Um, I added in lots of leaves. So some of these leaves um, came from the the branch stamp from the Owlicious. I just kind of kept, you know, took it off the block and just used little, pushed on little sections to make little leaves. And then I also used um, one of the leaves from the Bloomin' Good. So there's a few loose leaves in there. So I, I stamped then on, on, on as well. And how I'm using these stamps at this point is not particularly to be precise I want my branch and my page to look a bit artsy so I'm using it as a guide so I'm not when when I um come back in and paint in the leaves and I'm not worrying if I'm not getting them exactly where Marlene has outlined so I'm using her stamp as a bit of a guide um yeah so it, you've got free license to to go on and do you know, make it your own, but certainly helpful having the guide there because otherwise I don't know where to start. So um, then I've grabbed a piece of the smooth paper, the new smooth paper that is like the um, the paper in the perfect size and the handy size journal with the coloured covers and it's really smooth so it's really good for, it's great for watercolour but then when you come in with coloured pencils it's really good, you know, because it's a really soft um, oh, I can't well put my words together a soft finish it's not bumpy so yeah so it's got really great for this kind of thing so what I've did was I picked out the um, the bigger owl and the smaller owl and I was too lazy to get my stamping block out and I just thought I'll just wing it oh <laughs> get it owl's wings <laughs> anyway it didn't work I was I was impatient and um so I had to stamp another little owl and then what I did is from the my girls stamp I there were a couple of girls in there one's got a bird on her head with a nest and one has a crown with a flower and I thought well they'd look really cute on top of the owls of, of the new stamp so I stamped them and you can see I've stamped them off the page because I only need the top part so um, I just put ink on the top part and stamped and I will color all that in and cut it all out so that's all I'm doing now I've got the um, Marlene's watercolors and I'm just coloring up and as I've said to you often um, I'm not very confident with I love color but I'm not super confident with shading and um, all of that like some of the other girls are amazing and so I am learning I'm in the learning process and um, I think part of the problem for me is 
I'm a quick, a bit of a quicker art journaler in that I like to just get it down, I like to just play. And um, sometimes precision is not my strong point. So sometimes even when I'm colouring these in, um, I know lots of people lose themselves in that, but I get a, my brain wanders a bit too much. Um, and I think, oh, I just want to hurry it up and then I tend to stuff it up. <laughs> so uh, if you're like me, uh, that's okay because they end up coming out fine. But yes, I do wish sometimes I would just take a little bit more time. And I guess sometimes the pressure of you're on camera and it's live and, you know, you don't want it, your phone to get hot and for it to stop recording. So you just kind of cut a few corners. But I need to learn to slow down. Okay, so here I am just now coming in with all the pencils and just adding um, definition. And like I said, Marlene on her stamp, she always stamps and adds a little bit of shading. And I really appreciate that, Marlene, because it shows me where to put the deeper colour with the um, little bit of shading and shadow. So she's done the hard work for us so I can just colour in. And, and I guess colouring this way... Um, because I'm going to cut these out, I don't have to stay within the lines, which is also something I'm not great at. So th this is really good for me. Like if I stamp straight onto the page, I have to be really, really accurate with my colouring. Whereas this way, I'm, I probably actually want to go out of the stamped image a bit because I want, you know, when I cut, if I don't cut precisely, I don't want to be left with a bit of a white edge. So, you know, if you're bringing your colour right out, that will prevent, you know, you having to be so precise with your cutting. So it's a win-win. <laughs> so I do cut off, um, I forgot, I always do this when I fussy cut, I kind of bring it right in underneath me and um, then you can't see what I'm doing. But it's not very exciting watching me fussy cut anyway. But I do cut the little owl's feet off. So I, I ain't got time to cut those feet out. So I just... Um, I will add them back in uh, just with a pen um, after I've cut them out. So, yep, here I am cutting out uh, all the little bits. So I think I've got the medium-sized owl. I've got the little birdie. At this point, I'm just like, where am I going to put the bird? I thought about putting him on um, that little owl. But because I've coloured him pink, he kind of got lost in, this, in the moon shadowing. So I... It should have done him a different colour. So I decided he actually needed to go on the other owl. So I've got a crown there with a flower and a leaf that comes from that My Girls. And then I tucked the little birdie in behind the crown. So he, the little birdie's landed on Mr Owl's or, or Ms Owl's head. And then I have got the smaller owl there and she has a little... Um, something in her hair already like a like a flower so I glue them all down using the sticky glue and then I'm just adding in the feet and now I'm just going to go around um, because I've colored quite a bit it's lost the crispness of the black from the um, stamping so I'm just kind of going around it um, here and there I don't do every part just do I do do quite a I do quite a bit of it, but not every single piece. So creating a little bit more depth and a bit of shadowing as well. And just so that little owl doesn't get completely lost um, in front of that moon. Just by adding this little bit of black, um, you can probably see it as I'm doing it. It brings them forward so they suddenly become the real foreground feature and they're not battling as much with the, with the background. So while I'm going with my pen, and I'm just using a um, Uniball black micro pen, I'm just going around all of the um, the branch, the leaves. And this is where I said you've got a bit of creative license. So um, I've painted over the top of Marlene's images and I'm not, I'm trying to replicate what she's done, but I'm not worried if I add extra leaves or I change the d direction of the leaves or, yeah. I'm just doing what looks and feels right to me at the time. Okay, so still doing that. So yeah, um, 
I guess the owls, owls are really important to me and they have been, there's a special um, attachment to them with my mum. So that was a really, um, you know, that drew me instantly to want to have a play with those. And, but yeah, the, the release is, is just awesome. <laughs> so much good in there. All right, so now I've got the white pen. So this is just another uh, uniball pen and I'm just doing some white highlights. Um, and this really helps it. You can't see it too much on camera, but it does help just to lift it all up because it is, as I said, it's quite a dark piece. So it does need some white added in. So the highlights do that. But I also know that I will use some sort of white quote um, as well, just to bring in a bit, a bit more white. Now I'll do a big whoopsie. I think, oh, I've got my pen. I'm getting carried away going every th over everything. I'll go around the um, the moon. I kind of wish I hadn't. Um, and then I'll try and fix it and then I'll make it worse. And then I'll wipe it off and then I think, no, I'll put it back in again. And I should have just left it here. Um, but I didn't. <laughs> so I, I try a few times to fix it. And in the end, it's okay. But I, you know, when I look at it, that's what I see but and you will see it now that I've told you but hopefully um it isn't as distracting to your eye as it is to mine so then to bring in that black because I felt like whoa that moon has got this little black ring around it and it's really standing out I decided to blacken the edges and sort of smudge them in a little bit just to give a shadow the whole way around See, here I go. I just couldn't leave it alone. <laughs> so I do it with a bit of ink and then I go over it with a Stabilo Oil and just add a little bit of water on a brush just to activate it. And I do like how that looks around the edge. So this is the point where I'm like, okay, it's quite dark. So I need to add in some white. So I'm adding in, um, just making some little stars in the night sky. And I'm just doing a few little clusters of those around the page. And you, I think you can see that that instantly lifts it. Um, so I do think when you work with bright and bold colour, you always need neutral. So you always need black and white in there to sort of, it does two things. It tones it all down, but it makes the colours pop as well. So at this point I had a little thought to add in a bit more white. So in the stamp set you've got mail. There's a couple of little letters and when I say letters I mean little envelopes. Um, and I thought well I could stamp that and leave it white. I just add a little red love heart. So that's what I did and then I attached it to cut it out and attached it under the beak of the little birdie that is sitting on the owl's head. Um, and the quote that I've used says receiving a letter is like having an unexpected party and I just thought it was perfect for this one because the bird has flown in with the airmail get it haha -ha. and the birdies have all got their little crowns on so I'm not sure if I explained that bit I did go over the crowns with gold glitter gold paint and then gold glitter I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but it is very very cute and even the little birdie has some a little crown too. So these guys are all having a little party to celebrate the letter um, in the night time in the tree. So thanks so much for joining me and I will be back again soon.